Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Camille Essek. Um, and I was just having a thought today about um, cycles that we may have in our lives, particularly as women. I know y'all like, every time you doing a video, Camille, you are driving. I'm sorry, it's just, uh, I'm not sorry. I am always running errands and just, you know, got things to do. And I'm not beat today, no lashes, it's Sunday. Um, and yeah, so anyway, enough about me personally, but as I was saying, I was just having a thought about cycles or patterns that we have in our lives. and. I put it up on my blog, which you can catch on WordPress. It's also on Facebook. It's called Memoirs of a Grown Woman. And on the blog, I made a point. I said, you know, when you're when you're a child and you have experienced abandonment or rejection, hurts, things like that, people that are emotionally absent, not there for you in your in your childhood, you tend to fall in love with people that are emotionally unavailable as an adult. And I'll say that again. So when you've experienced um, emotional abandonment, maybe even emotional abuse, things like that, that's the type of person you tend to fall in love with or you have a relationship, a, a relationship with or people you attract as an adult. And you need to really take the time to take inventory to say, hey, am I repeating a cycle? Am I repeating a pattern in my life? There was a point in time I, I did that and I didn't realize it. Um, it was like the same type of guy over and over again. I'm like, what the heck? Like, face different, dress differently, but personality the same. So I began to really take a look at myself from within and, and kind of question like Cam, why am I dating or running to the same type of personality? And I realized it was because of something from my past, things from my past that um, that were unresolved. And so as a result, I was attracting that in my adult life in, in dating. So that's why now, you know, it's been a year and a half, two years, I haven't dated anyone because... I had to take this journey to kind of um, dig and I want something different you know I know what I want I know the end result I know the things I desire as far as um, what I want out of a relationship something that's productive and happy and joyous and reliable like you have these um, goals relationship goals hashtag relationship goals and not and I don't mean that in like a social media standpoint but just like true goals as far as something that's healthy you want someone that can pour into you and you can pour into them someone that you can learn with here in life and grow together and um it's hard to do that when you're attracting toxic people like we can't keep doing this sis or bruh we can't keep doing this like you really need to take the time and do some inventory and go hey what's what is it within my past and my life and me that I keep attracting the same type of person why why is that and I, I had this epiphany and I could be wrong and you're free to chime in but I, I, I began to think um, you know the the Word of God the Bible talks about familiar spirits right not trying to be a preachy it's just I'm a PK and that's just what I know so I'm gonna reference that not gonna apologize for it either but um, the Word of God talks about familiar spirits right things uh, familiar familiar familiarity um, and you attract familiar things or you find yourself reverting back to what's familiar because you don't know your true identity because when you realize your true identity and who you really are, who you really are and what you really are, you're not going to go and revert back to what's familiar because you go back to what's familiar because that's all you know. So because that's all you know, that's what you go to. That's what you revert to. But once you begin to realize your true identity, your true purpose, your true assignment, your true self, you're going to reject what's familiar, right? 
because you're gonna go say you you're, you're going to say no that's not for me that's not who i am that's not what i am it's not good for my purpose it's not good for my assignment so anything that does not align with who you are who you are or what you are if it doesn't if it does not align with those things you're going to reject it it's like um you know if you've had let's say you had some um let's say you got sick right and you have medication and you're taking the medication and the medication is working because you're sick but if you're not sick and you're better you're well you're healthy your body's not going to take the medication the same and maybe that's a bad analogy but i hope you understand what i'm trying to say once you realize hey i'm not that person i'm not this type of person but yet i am purpose i am strong i'm wise i'm anointed i'm assigned i have clarity of mind speech of what i want to do what i want to accomplish anything that interrupts that you're going to reject it you're going to reject what's old and familiar but i hope i wasn't like rambling or whatever i am driving again so be sure to follow me here on instagram at Kamiki Meek. Um, I have my Beauty Glam Essentials at www.kamikimeek.com. And I'm also on Twitter, Camille underscore Essex, and also on Facebook. And um, be blessed and have a great day.